Hello friends. Welcome to my new AngularJS tutorial series video. Today, we will learn about Bootstrap CSS forms. Friends. In our previous tutorial we discussed about Bootstrap tables. In this tutorial, let's see how Bootstrap CSS forms looks like. Let's copy all Bootstrap CSS files, into AngularJS tutorials, CSS folder. For downloading Bootstrap CSS files, watch my previous tutorials. Moving ahead. For this tutorial, let's copy and paste, bootstrap-table.html file, into site root folder. And rename it to bootstrap-forms. Open the file. Provide a title to it as Bootstrap Forms. Let's clear all the contents from the div element. In order to create a container, where we can create Bootstrap Form, let's provide a class by name container to div element. Thus, now div element will be a container, where we can create a Bootstrap Form. First let's see how we can create a vertical form using Bootstrap. Let's include remaining CSS files to this HTML file. In the div element, let's create a form element. Performing a role of form. In form element, let's create form groups in the div element. Bootstrap CSS class, used to create a group is, form group. This class is needed for optimum spacing. In the div element, let's create a label by text, username, and a text field associated with that label. Always provide a class form control to all input elements. For text field, we will provide a placeholder as, enter username. Let's run the file. You can see on browser it displays a label username and text field associated with it. Text field has a placeholder, enter username. Let's copy and paste div element for password field. For password field, input type used is, password. On browser you can see, password text field is created just below username text field. Moving ahead. Let's create a div element to hold a checkbox. CSS class used will be checkbox. In div element, create a checkbox input type. Provide a text alongside of this checkbox as, remember me. On saving the file, browser displays a checkbox just below password text field. Moving ahead. Just above checkbox, let's create a radio button. CSS class used to create a radio button is, radio. In div element, create a radio input type. Having a text as, administrator. Save the file. On browser, you can see a radio button gets displayed, just above checkbox. 
moving ahead. Finally let's create a primary button. Class used will be, btn, along with btn-primary. For more info on bootstrap buttons, just watch my previous tutorial on bootstrap buttons. Provide a value to button as, login. Save the file. On browser you can see it has created a login button. Also, we just created a vertical form. Moving ahead. Let's create an inline form. The only change we have to make is to provide a class to form element as form-inline. Save the file. On browser you can see all the form elements are in a line. Moving ahead. Let's create a horizontal form. The only change we have to make is to provide a class to form element as form horizontal. Also, provide class control label to both labels. Save the file. On browser you can see all the form elements are aligned horizontally. And spacing between label and text field gets optimized. Thus, this tutorial was all about how Bootstrap CSS forms are rendered. In upcoming AngularJS tutorials, we will be using them frequently. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, Bootstrap CSS forms, concept gets more clear to you hope you like this video please give one minute to like share comment or subscribe my channel or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com